Hello guys, I'm Azar and in this video I will show you how to add Raspberry Pi to Can. Can is basically the world's first drag and drop IoT project builder where you can make your own IoT projects without coding. So let's get started. So first uh, you will have to sign up if you are a new user so you will click on this sign up. and here you will fill the form and click on register as I have already registered to Kain I will click on sign in and here I will enter my email and then password so here we have some devices uh, we will choose our device here if you click on all devices so here we have uh, single board computers which is raspberry pi microcontrollers like arduino sensors like temperature sensor pressure motion sensor actuators and extensions etc so uh, we will add raspberry pi here so i will click on raspberry pi so here we will set up our raspberry pi so the make sure that your raspberry pi is turned on and is connected to the internet so you can connect the raspberry pi to the internet through ethernet or through wi-fi so I, I have connected my raspberry pi to the internet through wi-fi and i have also installed the raspbian operating system i have made another video how to set up a raspbian operating system so the link will be in the description let's click on next and here we have two options to add our Raspberry Pi to Kane. One is the My Devices Can smartphone app, and the other is the terminal or SSH. So uh, I will use this terminal or SSH method. Uh, for this, you will need a Raspberry Pi connected to internet, and you will also need a monitor. I have here uh, remotely accessed the Raspberry open here the terminal here this is a terminal and here we will copy this and we will paste it here and then I will press enter after its completion we will copy the another one and we will paste it here So here you will see it will be now installing libraries. Here you are seeing both the screens. This is the Raspberry Pi screen and this is my laptop screen. If you want a video on how to remotely access Raspberry Pi, so comment on in the comment section. I'll make another video on this. So here now our Raspberry Pi is rebooting so it has automatically cut off the connection. And then we will check after it's rebooting. And here as you can see our Raspberry Pi is added to kindmydevices.com. Here this is the CPU percentage, this is the RAM, this is the storage, this is the temperature and this is the network speed which uh, it is not showing so from here you can control your raspberry pi you can reboot the raspberry pi you can shut down the raspberry pi and to make a uh, iot project you will click on this add new and then uh, device or widget and here you will click uh, on sensors which type of sensor you want you will click on it and after clicking the sensor for example if it is motion sensor 
he will define here its uh, GPIO pin uh, for example it may be connected to GPIO 7 and here click on add sensor so here as you can see our sensor is added this is the motion sensor you can add the trigger over here for example and trigger F uh, here you will uh, add some logic F for example I will drag the Raspberry Pi from there to here and I will set the trigger now so for example that is the digital motion sensor F it is on so then do one of the two tasks for example set up uh, I will set up a notification uh, it, if the sensor is on means that it has detected a motion then it can send me a, a message a text message through my phone or uh, send an email we will do a detailed project on this in the next video which will be the home security system this video was all about the setting up can for raspberry pi i hope that you will have liked this video if you like it so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you